So I want to talk about the very real possibility that we could have a historic four-way general election split this year. I'm going to talk about how it would come about and how the election might play out if that scenario does happen to happen. So it starts with this. The Republican convention, July 18th to the 21st. Trump doesn't have half the amount of delegates, so he gets denied the Republican nomination. I'm guessing they nominate Paul Ryan. He's very charismatic, and the Republicans seem to like to throw him in whenever they're, uh, they're down on their luck, no matter how reluctant he seems to be at first. We've got Paul Ryan running for the Republicans, and Donald Trump is like, screw this, I got screwed over, I'm running third party. So then, a week later, July 25th to the 28th, we have the Democratic Convention. And in this scenario, Bernie Sanders does not get the Democratic nomination, Hillary gets it. But Bernie, now that he has an opening from Donald Trump running third party, Bernie decides to run third party as well. And then we have a four-way split general election. This is my prediction of how it would play out. I've got Bernie up winning with 187. Um, and here's why. I think Bernie holds the, the Northeast, the Northwest, for sure. Um, I think he'd take these northern states right here. I think he'd take Colorado. For New York and Pennsylvania, uh, I know Hillary won in New York, and she might win in Pennsylvania, but they're both closed primaries. So I figure with independents, there's a lot of independents in those states, with them in the mix, uh, Bernie will uh, take it. So then it comes down to California, really, because California is a huge state. I gave it to Bernie because I think Hillary and Bernie are going to pretty much split it, and there's also about 500,000 voters who are accidentally registered in the American Independent Party um, who are unable to vote in the primary. I think once they get factored in in the general election, I think Bernie will eke out a win. But as you can see, if we give it to uh, Hillary... Now Hillary's the winner. So as for the other people, I gave I gave uh, Donald Trump the South. Uh, he did really well in Arizona. Um, I don't know, maybe people are really excited about building a wall in Arizona. So I gave him Arizona. I gave Paul Ryan, or whoever the Republican nominee is, uh, the whole Midwest, pretty much, places that are economically conservative, stuff like that. I gave Hillary these states which Obama won in 2012 and states she's won in the primaries um, that are blue states. And uh, I also gave her Florida. I think that Trump and Paul Ryan would probably split pretty evenly in Florida and Hillary would come out on top in Florida. Um, but, you know, Florida could also go to Paul Ryan or possibly Donald Trump. I don't think there's any way Bernie would get it. Um, and let's see what happens if we give it to Paul Ryan, for instance. Now Paul Ryan is down by one point to Bernie Sanders. Um, but, you know, he could win one of these Trump states and then Paul Ryan's over. Or maybe I'm not giving Trump enough states. Like, I'm sure Trump could win some of these other states. Um, but, as you see, I think Paul Ryan would kind of dominate Donald Trump. So it comes down to either President Paul Ryan, President Hillary Clinton, or President Bernie Sanders. My prediction is Bernie ekes out a win, thanks to California. But uh, I'd love to hear your predictions, so feel free to use this map on 270towin.com and take a screenshot and share your predictions in the comments. Now, even if Bernie or anybody else wins the majority of the Electoral College, uh, you need 270 delegates to win the presidency. So, in, under this four-way split scenario, it's very likely that nobody will reach 270. So, in that scenario, what happens is the House actually picks who the president is going to be. It's possible that if Bernie and Hillary get a lot of votes, the House could be in the Democratic favor. Or it's possible that the House could still be run by Republicans. Some people are cautious to say that you know, the, the Republican House is just going to put in some Republican no matter who wins if it's a four-way split like that. But I'd say that would be extremely controversial to not nominate the person the majority of Americans picked. And I think it would be a catastrophe. And I don't think the House is going to go against the will of the people 
in a country that prides itself on its democracy. So um, yeah, I just wanted to get this conversation started, uh, let Bernie know he has the support to run third party if he chooses to in that scenario. Um, so yeah, please leave some comments below, share. I also have a series called Bernie Sand Wars. Check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Subscribe for more. I'm Shane Barbera, and this has been The Barbera Necessities. Roar.